Right. How is the healing going? We're healing. It's all about a, it's all about an upward trajectory, you know. Atlanta, Atlanta Falcons. I didn't get to see the end of the game, and I've been I've been rapidly healing or slowly healing. Now, however you depend on it. In my mind, I should go to sleep and wake up perfect, but that hasn't been happening. But we have been getting better, you know. Um, and because I've been healing, I it's, again haven't been avoiding you. I've just been healing. I mean, you're always healing from something. You know, some things are more severe than the other. It's a football season. You're never going to be out 100 percent healthy. And I think you know, with our locker room, we have a next up, a next man up. Mentality. Ooh, almost messed that one up. Could have been real lagging. But, you know, at some point, I think that uh, we got guys like Zach Bond, I think, as we as weeks go on. And I'm pretty sure, like, where Peyton is, he's, he's biting at the bit. Just saw him at practice today. Um, we're slowly getting healthy at the right time for other guys. So, I think with my role as it is, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with contributing how we can to get a win. Okay, I think I like that segment they showed you working with Zach on technique. Now, how how have you kind of embraced that role? Like, yeah. 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 It's not it's not a role that I have to embrace. It's what I've always done, I've always been. You know, I want to see my teammates succeed at a high level. Um and if I'm you know, if I'm focused on the run, then that means somebody could be focused on the pass. At the end of the day, it's about a team win. I could care less anymore about, you know, a personal accolade, and I never really have during season. I'm worried about trying to get as many wins as we can. We got four games left. If we can win all four of these, we can hit double digits wins. If not, then, you know, we, we won't have our fate in our hands. Um, I don't I don't love where we're at right now, but I do love the chance that we have, the opportunities that we are presented. What has been your impression of that? I mean, he's quick off the ball. We already knew that. Um, he came in. I think that like first series two games ago got a sack off rip and then you know we're working he's been in great position sometimes uh, and that's what you're working on that finish. Yeah, what do you think about the veto and the stalling of the NFL lately? Just, just what have I ever cared about another quarterback? It's about the defense that we have in our locker room. It's about how we can affect the game. I think if we play our technique, um, that you know it's it'll take care of itself. When we when we are all have gap integrity, when we all are executing our plays uh, at a high level. Uh, that should take care of itself. But I do think Tommy DeVito has, I think the word has been shown, been thrown around there at moxie, a lot of moxie. Um, and, you know, for, for that, great. It's going to be a challenge for our defense to make sure he doesn't escape the pocket, as we all know has been a crooks for our defense or some our defensive line at sometimes. And I'm going to keep on saying defensive line because it's up to us to, you know, make sure the quarterback doesn't step up, step through, step around and, and get out the pocket because our DBs have done a good job of, of doing their job. So it's just about everybody doing their own. Do you have any more thoughts about what happened Monday? Just uh, kind of intrigued about it, but um, man, the the most unfortunate event for that is that some of these kids were you know were affected. It, it, nobody was hurt physically, nobody whatever. But there was a couple of kids that were shaken up, and you, you throw an event where you know the youngest youngest kid there is probably 11, 12. I think there's some some GED graduates there um, that might have been a little bit older, maybe nineteen, twenty. Uh, and but you could see you know not only just fear on the face, but um, actual like sort of trauma, if you will. You know, some pe- some of the kids had been affected by gun violence before, whether that had been, you know, siblings, whatever it was. Um, and that hurts your heart just to just to know that, you know, that one of these kids, were, you know, may have may have said some things like was like, man, I wish I had my and I was like, you shouldn't have to feel that you need anything on you. Um, and it, it's not like, you know, it's it not, not like the event was late. It was what? The event went on from five to six thirty, so somewhere around that five forty-five range in the middle of, uh, yeah, heart hurts for for a kid to feel like he needs to be strapped up or he needs to, you know, feel like he has to protect himself in a world where, man, at 13, 14 years old, you should be worried about basketball, you should be worried about you know homework, you should be worried about getting A's, and not worried about you know the outside world affecting your inside world. Yeah, why has it been so Man, uh, I don't know about just this year. I mean, I'm always, I've always emphasis, uh, had an emphasis on uh, showing love to the community that shows love back. Uh, and since I've gotten here, if, if New Orleans has been a home to me and is home to me uh, and mine, I mean, so it's just more important that like the more kids you talk to, the more you feel like, you know, you can create a positive impact. Talk to some kids are like, man, you know, and they tell you straight up, they're like, man, ain't nobody came to our school before. Man, you need to come to my cousin's school. And it's like, all right, give me the, give me the address. Drop the Addy. You know, we can pull up wherever, however. 
um, talking to some kids, it's, uh, it's easy to see why, I don't know what you call it, football players, why somebody with any sort of influence is important to give back to, to even hang out is because it seems like at times um, they don't see a broader picture. They're just seeing what's in front of them. And it was like, hey, I remember being a kid. They look at you like, you remember being a kid? Everybody was a kid one day, you know? Um, but give them hope for a future, you know, beyond just playing football. It's the academics. It's the it's the striving for academic excellence. Um, I'm probably always going to push the last of the pack on them because I, I don't know what I'll say next year. What I'll say, the ACC or something like that? Cal at the ACC? No. But, you know, when you, when you talk about academic excellence, you also paint a picture of it's okay to leave. It's okay to strive for better things. It's all right not to just think that the highest pinnacle you can get to is LSU. Yeah, back to that What's something? Oh, back to that Monday. Uh, event. There's Xavier. There's Tulane. There's other there's school with higher <laughs> academics. Back to that Monday event, did you like, have to talk to some of the kids after? What was the after, during. during. Like, yeah, during, I mean, like, during. Like, during. You know, like, um, I think I had stepped into the back of politics to sign some uh, autograph yearbooks for the kids. And I didn't even like get into the main part or get back to the main part of the store when kids rushed into the, you know, whatever. And I was like, hey, what's going on? Bang, bang, bang. Um, and more kids rushed in. And I think people at uh, Sneaker Politics did a great job of locking the door and getting back to the back. I think they did a great job of ushering kids in. Uh, you know, I think the Saints staff that was there, you know, Alex Restrepo, Alicia Bouchard, um, and my dog, Adam. Uh, I've got to learn Adam's last name. That's embarrassing. I've only known him for four years. She's five. Okay, yeah, that's embarrassing. Um, but you you talk about you know how they're able to corral people, get everybody in the back, and makes you know make sure count heads, do everything they need to do. And people at Yep, you know, was very orderly about protecting their own, getting everybody in the right positions um, in terms of safety, and then just you know being able to recover from that and finish the event. You know, I'm uh, I'm inspired sometimes just by the kids that were there because they didn't elect, let it truly affect them to it didn't dampen the mood. Once police showed up, everything came out, we were able to resume um, and sort of talk about it, which hopefully opens up good dialogue on their on the drive home, which I've gotten some feedback from that, which did uh, at the end of the day. bro, it, the next wave is, is the fu is the future. You know, these kids growing up now is, is really going to be the, the, the people who shift and hopefully change narratives of, of what New Orleans will be. So. It's that important to me to try and give back to. Does something like that just, uh, I guess, reinvigorate or renew like your your mission to like maybe try to influence as many kids to try to give out the situation? I know you can't. Yeah, I wish I, I was like, I wish right. I could just get them all out the situation. I mean, uh, looking at them, you know, again, when you think about the teenage years, uh, I mean, clearly, you know, there's in, in my high school back in Arizona, Chandler High, there was fights, whatever it was, but I don't really recall feeling the need to carry anything. You know, I don't, I don't, I mean, granted, my mother had me on a strict, you know, curfew time there. Like she put, she didn't play that. That was back in the days of, you know, the lights, the lights turned off. It was your derriere um, and you were still outside. But again, this is, this is the day and age that we live. You know, New Orleans has to change to, to, you know, feel a little bit more safe for our next generation. So hopefully that'll that'll keep on pushing forward. So it's always going to be imperative for me to try and uh, be in my community. And if that's the next initiative that needs to start up, let's find it. Let's figure it out.